G'day, in this video I wanted to do another test of the high ISO capability of the C400. So I've popped it at the base ISO of 12800 again and left the ISO set to that. The first part is at 25 frames, Kelvin set to 5600 and these first two frames here are just digital pans and digital zooms. So I'm really impressed with the high ISO. There's a fair bit of dusk available light. And this was the first time kind of testing out the 100 frames. And uh, you know, to be honest, at such a high ISO, I can't really fault this, given that, yes, there is a lot of available light. I'm super impressed. I decided to chuck a whole bunch of oil on to try and get the flames going a little higher and Obviously, it's extra virgin olive oil, so it's very smoky to uh, add to the effect. Cropping in at 200% in post, the footage holds up pretty well. I'm super impressed. So I don't know about you, but cooking a barbecue is one of those pleasurable pastimes. It's by no means a chore when you've got to pop out and uh, cook a nice bit of rump. We, in our household, do roughly two minutes or three minutes each side and then a little bit give it give it or say two minutes again on the first side and we find that gives us a nice medium rare in general depending on the thickness of the rump that you buy but if you have any techniques or tips for the way you cook a steak please let me know in the comments and I'd uh, love to try it out Obviously sausages, you, you just do what you gotta do. You gotta cook the little bastards until they're done, but I love crafting a bit of steak and uh, seeing what pleasurable joy you can get out of it. The only part I don't like about barbecuing is cleaning up, but that's always for future me to sort out. So you just shut the lid, walk away, and sort it out the next time you go to cook. So I hope you have a great week. And uh, if you do have any questions about the C400 or anything, do let me know and uh, I'll do my best to uh, answer and we'll go from there. Catch you soon. Cheers.